and it is the one you can try uh, just in going on the internet and taking. You have to ask nobody. So it's the easiest path. So it means that in this case, uh, the future, the present, and the future's Linux is absolutely marvelous for these kind of devices. But there's a place for a lot of uh, there are a lot of places where you need a, an operating system. There are a lot of uh, machines, gadgets, and in fact there are more and more. And uh, if you look at uh, Linux, uh, if there is a place where Linux is a big success, it is embedded system. It's very surprising to some extent. Uh, at least. 12 years ago, it was not clear it, it would be the case, because Linux is a very big operating system compared to what is usually used in a lot of embedded systems. But what we are seeing is that uh, our friend of Qualcomm is there. In fact, even uh, the most basic processor today has uh, an incredible uh, power, computer power, so it is possible to, to have an uh, operating system fairly complex and very cheap. Um, cheap. So uh, it means that uh, we see Linux, Linux is in many places today. You see Linux in a DVD uh, reader, DVD player, you see Linux in TomTom um, uh, -tom like uh, devices, you see Linux in uh, ebooks, for example. Uh, you see, basically, you see, if you need uh, a network connection and a graphical interface, well, you end up with Linux. Because there's not many choices, in fact, at a cheap price. At a cheap price and with the possibility to totally control what you have in your device. So, so that's how Linux is developing today. I think there's something else uh, that is now becoming very important. It is the possibility to have a, a good uh, web browser. So you need absolutely, in any device, it's going to be a given that you have some possibility to interact with the web. And most of the time, you really need a web browser. Uh, 